This is yet another Guts video, this time of a pair of uh, file alarm notification appliances, which is a technical term for the little strobe alarm things that you see mounted on the walls all over the place and somewhere where a system like this is installed. This one is a Gentex Commander 2. That's the front casing for it. And the back plate, which is just a piece of a I think, judging by the weight and the appearance, pot metal. There's this little thing which is the terminal block to which it gets connected. And this printed circuit board, which is used for testing if a system is being tested and whether or not a given notification appliance is at fault. That's just inserted if the thing needs to be taken out of service. Because the way these are wired is as a means of detecting if there's a fault or if one of these things has been damaged or taken out or whatever. The horn connections, or the, or no, the strobe connections are wired through so that uh, the actual signal goes through the notification appliance because those two top terminals are connected together internally and there's just this little or a metal pad that shorts those two out on this PCB when it's inserted. When it isn't in use, it just slots into that little hole molded into the, uh, or a hole in the uh, casting. Alright, anyways. This is the actual PCB from the unit. It's, uh, or the full part number is, um, that. It's a fixed, uh, 75 uh, candle power intensity strobe. This one is out of a uh, weather proof, uh, outdoor notification appliance kit, which is why there's no front cover or cover that surrounds it on this. It's all part of the outdoor casing. But anyways, alright, there's a speaker and a little uh, surface mount uh, dip switch. Selects things like um, uh, mo oper operational modes. Most of them are for Selecting which tone because this thing will produce a number of different tones. Obviously for what I'm going to be using for and I'm not going to be using a temporal code 3. Probably like a high low or whoop or, wh or one of those. There's this one which is... Uh, but anyways. There's this set of terminals which is not the five that are normally used for power and stuff. That's them. These are marked A through F on the uh, PCB silk screen. Those I'm guessing are some kind of an ICSP or JTAG or some kind of a diagnostic connection because ordinarily those are covered up by the little plastic things because this slots into the uh, this plastic uh, not the frame about that orientation and under there there's a um, SO8 package IC which is I'm guessing what drives the uh, that handles uh, speaker tones and stuff but there's also this uh, microchip branded uh, IC right there it has a come on autofocus it does not have a standard part number so I'm guessing that's either a custom device or um, a chip that's been spe specially house marked I think that's the master control IC for it or for the thing judging by the uh, crystal there and that SO8 IC is probably just a speaker driver that gets um, controlled by this thing and there's a couple of capacitors that thing marks V1 that's a uh, metal oxide varistor for uh, transient and uh, surge suppression and there's a Rubicon 330 volt 80 microfarad um, photo flash capacitor for the strobe and a uh, that tall black component with the wire coming out the top is the trigger transformer for driving the strobe and there's a, a TO92 package uh, SCR probably for controlling that trigger transformer and other than miscellaneous passives and other stuff that's Pretty much it for this device. There's nothing on the underside, um, just a 
big ground plane pretty much. And this is the guts of a wheel lock NS424 MCW uh, notification appliance. This one is a multi uh, strobe intensity rating. As you can see by the little selector. That's just a little uh, pointer that shows through the front window on it. The actual intensity is controlled by this switch which is adjusted from the back through a uh, slot in the um, cover. There's the speaker. <coughs> that device which is probably again the master microcontroller judging by the ceramic resonator which is the blue three pin device right there. And on the underside loads and loads and loads of uh, components. There's a big, uh, or relatively speaking, uh, 2512 package uh, surface mount resistor right there, the big 27 ohm one. There's this diode, which I am guessing is to avoid um, reverse polarity charging of the photo flash capacitor, which would can't get in due course since uh, electrolytics that aren't uh, non-polarized, which is most of them, really do not like to be reverse charged and if you do they'll blow up, which in this case because this is a safety device would be bad. There's that device which I'm guessing might be a MOSFET for controlling or trans or other uh, like a power BJT or something for controlling the duration of the pulse of the strobe to control the uh, intensity. There's a big inductor which again is for uh, current control of the uh, discharge in or discharge in the strobe. An optal isolator which is I think for controlling this judging by the uh, I don't have the schematic and I didn't bother tracing one out so I don't know exactly but I think that's for controlling the uh, that transistor right there. And there's the footprint, footprint for the uh, microcontroller. And a couple of jumpers which are most likely just for testing purposes. Because that center pin on the header is not connected to anything because this is only a single uh, sideboard. There's these two connections which are One's for the strobe, one is for the uh, horn. There's that uh, inductor which I'm thinking might be for transient suppression as well as uh, those two, or at least for current control and those two uh, barristers for surge suppression. We get another transistor. And the switch for controlling the strobe intensity and other than that there's not a whole lot of Super interesting stuff, although there are a couple of these uh, MILF package resistors, which you don't see a whole lot nowadays, but again, just one little interesting thing.